like to go on record as saying that I will whore myself on any street corner for a slice of baby Swiss. Uh, hi, hi Raul. It's Toby too again. Um, I, I, want, I wanted to ask you, is it true if you masturbate too much, you'll go blind? And I wanted to ask you, um, have you ever done that? You know, had cheese? And, um, then I wanted to know if you knew the capital of Montana. I do. And if you do, how you feel about it? And if you don't, how you feel about it? And then I was just really, really curious about plaid. And um, I was hoping you could maybe explain that to me because sometimes I get sad. And, you know, I, I feel so close to you, Raul, but I don't know. I just wanted to, just wanted to talk to you. Hold me. Well, Toby, in, re in response to your masturbation question leading to blindness, all I got to say is, who said that? I can't, I, I can't see. Who, who, who's speaking? Uh, um, cheese? Yes, I've had cheese. Hence the baby Swiss whoring myself on every corner. Um, Montana? Off the top of my head, I do not know the capital of Montana, and I am too lazy to Google it. I'm sure it's some equally fascinating... I'm going to say Montana City. I'm sure it's wrong. And plaid... I have no opinion on plaid. Plaid is the work of the devil. It's true. It's in the Bible. Somewhere in the back. One of the last chapters. Plaid, double. Look it up. Also, look up the capital of Montana. Let me know. Yeah, I'd like a number one with no onion, no cheese. Can you supersize that with a large Diet Coke with extra ice? And um, I'd like two of your apple pies if I could. Your total will be 678. Please drive up to the first window. Hello, Raul Lara. This is Miss Divine Stahl coming to you from Seattle. I have a question. What tastes worse, thicker balls? Interesting question, Miss Divine Souls. Let's find out. Hmm. Hmm. Tough to say. They both kind of taste like ass. Oh, 
what aren't you special? <laughs> um, yeah, um, hi, my name is Bobby, uh, and, um, I live in Toby's hair, and, um, I'm sort of sad and lonely because, um, well, I'm hungry, and, uh, well, I was wondering if, um, you could come and get me, Oh, because I like your hair, and maybe I could live there now. Sorry, you can't live in my hair, because I don't have any left. You'd be one cold, homeless bitch. I'm sorry. Stay in, stay in Toby's hair. It's very nice there. I spent the summer back in, I believe it was 92, 93. Delightful. Delightful. I spent the, the summer in Toby's hair, and it was just spacious and, you know, plenty of room for a pony. Hey, sexy. It's Shy. I wanted to find out from you, how is it that one goes about becoming as fantabulous as you are? A really a step-by-step -step detail would be very good for me. I would appreciate it. Bye. My dear, I, I, as much as I would love to, to, to tell the people of the world how I maintain all this fabulousness and how they too can be fabulous, I, I, listen, this is the copyrighted secret that I'm afraid if I divulge that kind of information over the interweb, I will be sued by every fabulous motherfucker up in here and, you know, you know, it, all I gotta say is, look, it, it just comes natural. I mean, look, please. You, you can't create this in a lab, people. It just, you know, springs forth like the summer rain. Like, like, like the dew on, 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 on uh, uh, the morning dew on, on, on a rose petal. It just, it just naturally happens. Deal with it. And if you don't have it naturally like I do, well, you know, marry, marry someone very rich. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do.